This is the town of Edison, population 133, home to many small businesses, restaurants, and art galleries, an annual chicken parade, an elementary school, an old failed socialism experiment, and the childhood of the world famous Edward R. Murrow. There's quite a bit of exciting history behind this Botico town. It was the summer of 69, 1869 that is, when a handful of homesteading pioneers, namely Ben Sampson and Edward McTaggart, got together to start the town of Edison, naming it of course after the famous engineer Thomas Edison. Uh, about five years into it, in 74, they put up a schoolhouse, attracting a teacher from all the way out in Whidbey Island. It's said that that schoolhouse is still up and being used as a warehouse right now, but I couldn't find it. In 76, they put up a post office, which got its mail from a 10-mile horse ride inland to Prairie and a 5-mile boat ride across the bay to Samish Island, all four times a week. The first postmaster and the founder of the post office was Edward McTaggart, who even got his own avenue right here on the main drag. In the 1880s, about the same time that Australian researchers were discovering that platypuses laid eggs, this community thrived. With multiple bridges being built across the Samish, a trading post was put up, they got themselves a local blacksmith, and even a physician. One of Edison's most prominent pioneers, Thomas Kane, moved in around this time as well, and he's responsible for most of the recent growth in the buildings. He got his name on what would be Edison's commercial avenue, Kane's Court. With the 90s came the Equality Colony, an attempt at a socialistic society right here in Edison. They purchased about 600 acres of land and put up two large apartments, a uh, printing office, and even a cereal and coffee factory. The society only lasted about 10 years though before a large fire broke out and burnt down most of their buildings, including a barn which killed most of their cattle. Tensions were high between the families anyways, and the colony was in debt. The fire was suspected to be an arson, but nobody was arrested. In 1914, an a high school was built. Edison High School, colors red and white, home of the spark plugs. Zzz. About 10 years later, Edison's most famous alumni graduated at the top of his class, being part of the debate team, the basketball team, and president of the student body. Local Blanchard resident Ed then attended and graduated from WSU with a degree in speech. After that, Edward R. Murrow had a very prominent career in CBS during and after World War II with his world-famous radio and television shows.
In 1943, progress had slowed and the Edison spark plugs came to a close, merging with the Burlington Tigers. It wasn't for another 50 years, though, until the building was torn down and an elementary school was put in its place for the Burlington Edison School District. The playground right now for Edison Elementary is in the approximate location to where the high school used to stand. And well, that's about it for the history of the town. But a rich history is in everything Edison has to offer. Today, Kane's Court is full of excellent restaurants, art galleries, and small shops. And if this video isn't enough to get you out here right now, then keep an eye out for the annual chicken parade. There has been no r word on a 2021 run yet, but in years past, it's, been, it's run around mid to late February, and crowds have been growing exponentially every year. I remember the first time I went, and there was a couple people there, and a couple chickens walking down the road, a couple Colonel Sanders, you know the deal. But last year, there was people parked all the way out at the Bow Post Office, walking all the way into town just to see, because the turnout was so huge. And now, this video is over. So in the word of my man Ed, I bid you good night, and good luck. <laughs>